Nolajunt here at Yesner's Amazing Cheese Steaks. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Nolajunt. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans Travel Vlog, we're at Yenzer's Amazing Cheese Steaks on a travel search for the best sandwich options in the New Orleans area. Yenzer's Amazing Cheese Steaks is a New Orleans sandwich shop located in the uptown area of New Orleans at 1514 Della Chase Street, which is about 12 minutes and 3 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. You might notice that it's right in between two of the previous spots we visited before with Leo's Caboose right there and then the Britannia Bar way on the other side there. So make sure to check out those videos if you haven't seen those yet. Now if you notice when you walk up, they actually have their menu posted on the outside here. So let's check this out. So we have cheese steaks with steak or chicken with sauteed onions and mayo on an 8 inch bread. The big E times 2 steak or the big C times 2 chicken. The buffalo chicken, the buffalo big C times 2 chicken and the buffalo veggie. Then the veggie cheese steak with sauteed mushrooms, onions, roasted red peppers, lettuce, tomato, mayo and cheese. Then we have specialty steaks only available in single steak portions with a pizza steak, steak or chicken, red sauce, onions, double provolone mayo, cheese steak roulette, chef's choice of protein toppings, cheeses and sauces, cheeseburger steak, steak, onions, sliced pickles, double white American cheese, yellow mustard, and mayo. Add some toppings with mushrooms, red peppers, hot peppers, banana peppers, extra onion, lettuce, tomato. Then we have cheese steak salads. The cheesesteak salad has a choice of steak, chicken, or veggie. Comes with onions, tomato, mayo, and your choice of cheese. You can substitute ranch or mayo. The Big E times two steak salad. The Big C times two chicken salad. Veggie cheesesteak salad. Buffalo chicken salad. Buffalo Big C times two chicken salad. Choose some cheese. Provolone, house-made cheddar whiz. White American cheese. Two cheesy provolone and whiz. Times two provolone. Times two whiz. Times two white American. Vegan cheese. Then all the good add-ons with add au jus, make it French. Our hot house-made beef au jus, grab a side and dip your sandwich. Add ranch sauce, add red sauce side, add buffalo side, add deli mustard side, add grant sauce side, then add side cheddar whiz. Then we have side items with German soft pretzel with whiz and mustard, side salad, classic Lay's chips, zast potato chips, and dill pickle. So this is actually my very first visit to this joint. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So it's a long, narrow, rectangle design like so many places in New Orleans with that traditional shotgun set up. They do have some t-shirts for sale here. And of course, we've got a whole lot of other interesting stuff such as these video games right here. Oh yeah. And then they've got a lot of other stuff decorated all over the place in here. And we've got a little message on the chalkboard here we need to check out as well. So, our story. Yenzer's Amazing Cheese Steaks is dedicated to bringing you the best Pittsburgh-style cheese steaks in New Orleans. Mike and Colleen met in Pittsburgh in 2011, where she was born and raised in the South Hills. Mike had just graduated from the University of Pittsburgh. He decided to move to New Orleans in 2013, shortly after they began dating and she followed afterwards. In 2015, they realized their usual love of cheesesteaks and decided to do a pop-up. They began at the Aline Street Beer Garden and the Rusty Nell using the name Mike's Amazing Cheese Steaks. Jokingly, their friend Pete, who always made fun of them for being Yenzers, crossed out Mike on one of their menus and wrote Yenzies above it. They loved this and decided to become Yenzers Amazing Cheese Steaks for good. After two years, they moved the pop-up to the back patio at Rendezvous Tavern. When the pandemic shutdown happened, they knew that it was time to find and settle into their own brick and mortar. Colleen and Mike like to think that Pittsburgh-style cheesesteaks are less judgmental. They encourage their customers to get everything they want on their cheesesteak especially their favorite toppings, mushrooms, mayo, and both cheeses. And Mike's words, do what makes you happy. So, as we look around the space here, you can see they've got a few tables and chairs here. Seems on average though, they do more carry out business. Now here's what I ordered, can you guess what it is? 
So they have these gigantic, huge dill pickles they make themselves. Unfortunately, they couldn't get enough pickles made to satisfy demand, so they stopped making their own pickles shortly after I ate this and made a business decision to just start buying dill pickles as it just made more sense for the volume they were doing. And then for my cheesesteak selection here, I decided to go with the pizza steak which is steak, red sauce, onions, double provolone. And then I also added hot peppers and mustard and told them to hold the mayo because I'm not a fan of the mayo. Now here you pay right at the cash register in the front as soon as you order and my total for this bill was $20. So this sandwich has quite a lot of stuff crammed inside of it, so I think we're going to have quite a nice meal. But first off, we gotta try this crazy big pickle here. <laughs> okay, nice crunch to it. It's not the most dill-flavored dill pickle I've ever had. It could certainly probably stand to marinade for quite a while longer to give it more of that delicious dill pickle flavor, but it's still an interesting pickle. Here we go with this big, huge cheese steak, pizza steak. Okay, so nice ooey gooey cheesy flavors. There's some uh, very nice cheesy beefy goodness in this sandwich. So it's an enjoyable thing here at the first bite and plenty of ooey gooey cheesiness. Here we go with another bite and ooh, more ooey gooey cheesiness with that bite as well. And ooh, each bite's full of meat, cheese, and all sorts of nice flavors in here. So there's uh, always a pleasant sensation when you get that ooey gooey cheese effect, whether you're eating pizza, a sandwich, or something else that gives this wonderful long string of cheese that comes out with that melted yummy goodness that you get from it all. So this uh, first half of the sandwich is going down pretty quick and easy overall and it's uh, actually holding together much better than I thought it would. So structural integrity is overall pretty decent, all things considered. As in the po' boy world, we would probably call this an overstuffed po' boy. There we go, first half is done. Now we're going to attempt to get back to this huge dill pickle. I think this is the largest pickle I've ever had in my entire life. I've never even seen any pickles as big as this one. This is just a gigantic, huge cucumber. Wow. So this thing is uh, definitely a meal unto itself, just about. So this is definitely going to be taking up a lot of room in my belly, and it will make the second half of the sandwich a little bit more of a challenge to complete. All right, so we finished that pickle. I don't know for sure if I could do it. And here we are going after the second half of the sandwich. And fortunately, it's still pretty hot and ooey gooey cheesiness is still present. So it's maintaining that heat level really nicely. And again, structural integrity overall is doing pretty nice. But we're gonna flip this uh, upside down to get the meat that's coming out the other end here because gravity still exists and we have to fight that gravity to make sure that we don't lose any of the interior to the gravity pulling it out and making it fall out for third meal. Whoa, I'm definitely taking the second half down way faster than the first half. So I think I found my pace. Here we go with the last bite of the sandwich, but the meal is far from done because look at all of this third meal. All this stuff that's fallen out. So it's sort of like a sloppy roast beef po' boy, except I can eat this a little easier with a fork it seems like. And that ooey gooey cheesiness and the lack of any roast beef gravy makes for a little bit of a neater third meal experience than it would with a really sloppy po' boy experience. However, if I'm uh, being honest, I would definitely prefer po' boy bread than the bread they've used here. So we actually have quite a few uh, Yankee food joints like this, as we locally call it. Uh, so more and more places are opening up that are doing more Yankee style sandwiches, such as cheese steaks. And we got New Jersey subs and all kinds of other Yankee food options that have opened up. So we have a whole lot more of the things that make people from out of town happy so they can have a little taste of where they're from, I guess, as so many of them have uh, moved here permanently and aren't just tourists anymore. So uh, it just seems to be an ongoing trend. We have less po' boy joints and more Yankee sandwich and deli joints all the time. And here we go with the last bite of the third meal. And now, just like I've totally destroyed this cheesesteak, 
Go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what you thought about this cheesesteak. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. On my next visit, I decided to order a carryout Big C cheesesteak and my total was $18. Haha, all right, I got the Yuzner's cheesesteaks. Big chicken, first time trying this. Let's check it out. Oh, ha, ha, look here. Oh, ho, 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 yeah. So I have to say, this thing is chock full of meat, so it looks pretty good. That's a decent little sandwich, but we gotta see how it tastes. Oh, ho, ho, this is not going to be a uh, very neat experience, I don't think. Ooh, ooey gooey cheese. Oh, stuff's falling out all over the place. Let's see. Hmm. First bite, it tastes all right. I gotta say I like the cheese steak better though. Hmm. Not getting a lot of chickeny delicious flavor here. Now the chicken is moist. It's not dry. Just not getting a whole lot of chicken flavor. Oh, it's falling apart. Structural integrity is leaking out the edges. I mean, you know, I think I would recommend sticking with a cheesesteak. I mean, this is an okay sandwich if you're not eating beef for whatever reason. The beef just has way more flavor with a cheesesteak. Mmm. Like literally, if you blindfolded me and told me to bite into this, I don't think I could tell you it was chicken. It just doesn't have uh, any kind of deliciously uh, nice chickeny flavor to me. The uh, cheese, peppers, onions on here. Onions, they're giving me a little flavor on here. Um, Got some spicy mustard on here. That's going to get some flavor. The uh, chicken, though, just I don't even taste it. Hmm. I mean, it's not a bad sandwich. It's not a great sandwich either. So uh, I'm definitely going to be sticking to the cheese steak from now on. We have a lot of third meal here though. The chicken is a uh, very tiny, tiny chunk. It's kind of hard to eat this. Mm. Literally might need a spoon to uh, more effectively do this. Mm. I can't believe how bland this chicken is. Mmm. 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 So, just like I've totally destroyed this big chicken, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what you thought about this big chicken. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So thanks so much to everybody at Yenzer's Amazing Cheese Steaks for a really good pizza steak. And I assume their regular cheese steak's pretty good too. 
I didn't find the chicken version to be to my taste, but hey, you might like it. Now overall, I personally prefer po' boys over this, but if I'm in the mood for something a little bit different, the cheese steak here could certainly give me a little scratch for that itch. Now, thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolagen channel, especially to my Patreons. And if you would so kindly, go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, as it really would help me with that YouTube algorithm. Then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolagen here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.